Well gone, what's up, Deadly Hunter? This is my review on Twilight Breaking Dawn Part 2. Right, I'm gonna start out straight away by saying the film was. Nyah! <laughs> the film was nyah! I don't know, I don't know. I don't know what that means, it just means like it wasn't good, but it wasn't bad, but it wasn't alright, it was just, it was just nah. So, I wouldn't, if I, if, I wouldn't recommend it to someone who hasn't watched Twilight, and I'm gonna, I've got a couple of reasons why, and this is going to spoil the film if you haven't seen it, but then again, after you listen to this review, you won't need to see it and you won't want to see it, because it's nah. that's why. Right. So, well, I'm gonna start by saying if you've seen all the other Twilights, you're going to see this t- Twilight because it's the, it's the last one, it's the sequel. So just go and watch it. But if you haven't watched Twilight and you don't know what all the fuss is about, and you hear all loads of people just excited about it, don't. It's nothing really. Um, don't go and watch the the last one because it's not gonna make sense and it's just gonna be, seem like a rubbish film. And you're gonna hate Twilight forever like most people do so let me start out with the main reason why I think the film is rubbish because the storyline was not good at all the storyline was terrible it it was terrible because let me say what happened um Bella and Edward had a child and that child is basically a monster or apparently is thought to be a monster and the council of vampires, the leaders, the ones in charge who set the rules and stuff, they find out, and that's obviously breaking a rule. You're not allowed to have a child monster. Who who would have thought that? But anyway, um, the council get angry and they come to kill the child before the child wreaks havoc. So, as as the council are making their way across towards Bella's family and that uh, their long journey, Bella's family, Bella and Edward decide to get loads of witnesses so they decide to tell their their tales that their child is innocent to all vampires and all their family and they just spread out the word and that's that's what happens throughout most of the film yeah that's that's basically what happens throughout most of the film they go around telling tales to their to their brethren as they say (laughs) and then they all meet up and the werewolves decide to fight with the vampires for some unknown reason because Jacob um, is protecting a child so Jacob's the werewolf just in case no one knows um, but the werewolves decide to fight with the vampires against the other vampires when the werewolves and vampires are enemies anyway but that that's how the storyline goes so in the end, there's a big fight, which is, which is why I say the film is a six out of ten because that fight that fight was sick. But then again, it wasn't a fight. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Um, but that's that's the main main reason why I do not like I didn't like the film that much. It wasn't it wasn't a good film. It was I rate it a six out of ten at a push. And basically, what I'm talking about with the fight, how the fight didn't actually happen. Basically, there's a vampire called Alison, and she can read the future and show people the future. So she went over to the head of the the, the vampire council or whatever, and she showed him the future, what was going to happen if they fought. And it showed the whole fight, and it was actually all of it was sick. And but because no one in the cinema knew that Alice was showing the the um vision we just thought it was happening so after when she stopped showing him the vision <coughs> everyone was just laughing and just they, they were they were like bro that, none of that happened and the whole cinema was either shouting or screaming or something like that so that obviously was a good piece of acting and all of that so that's why I say the film was 6 out of 10 because that's what you want you want the mood to be set you want people to actually feel it to actually experience it so that was definitely good so that's basically my review on twilight it wasn't really good film i wouldn't recommend it but i'm glad i watched it so i know what happens in twilight so i'm sorry if this is if this has spoiled it for you which it probably has but then again you're not going to want to watch it because it's not a good film 
for someone to watch who hasn't watched Twilight. But the gameplay's coming to an end. I went 30 and 8. It should have been 30 and 6. Or did I go 30 and 6 and it should have been 30 and 4? I don't remember. But, <laughs> but it was a good gameplay in my opinion. Anyway, Deadly Hunter. Peace.